Hey guys, it's Matt Kern and this is Friday and this is another Mobile Minute with Matt and Friends. And today I have a dear friend on with me and one of my barbecue snobs, which I love her dearly for. Um, say hello to Cindy Peters with Republic Title in McKinney. What's up, Cindy? Everything's awesome. What's up with you, Matt? Are you on vacation today? <laughs> no, I'm not on vacation. <laughs> I'm well, working hard. I'm doing see, some really cool stuff. We see you out in your car today, so at least you're getting outside, right? Getting some fresh air? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, well, you yeah. look wonderful. So, well, thank you. Um, is today, uh, were you telling me that today is your anniversary? Yes, I have a very special anniversary today. Okay. I've been I've been at home exactly one month. I I started um staying home on March 17th. So now today's my one month anniversary and haven't been anywhere. Well, congratulations. So, thank you. And I'm sure a lot of people have anniversaries I today. Think we so all are having anniversary those. everyone. <laughs> yeah. The, the problem with this is that when this all started, we should have all taken a 30 or 60 day vacation on the beach somewhere. Secluded yeah, islands. But, yeah. Some secluded island for sure. Just been getting there would have been the problem, I'm sure. Right. <laughs> well, then we would have had that problem. We're going to have to work from the beach because we can't get home. Right. No, nope, that that's a right. Good excuse. That would have been not bad. And I probably wouldn't have gained the 10 pounds I've gained <laughs> also, you know. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, understood. All right. So let's get into some questions. So what's been going on and what have you been dealing with personally and corporately since the COVID-19 issues have started in March? Okay. Well, personally, it's been good. Um, all my family's still employed. That's good news. That's I am. Um, at home, but I live on eight beautiful acres, so mm -hmm. there's no sadness there. I am cooking. Uh, I don't care to cook, but um, I'm enjoying it now. Okay. So that's going on personally. Um, Business-wise, my office is very busy. Um, they are all in the office. The doors are locked. They're practicing safe closings, okay. and they are still um, answering phones and consulting with agents, and I'm doing a lot of that. Um, I'm trying to encourage agents to um, work, <laughs> to keep touching their sphere and reaching out to their friends and uh, doing their social media. Mm -hmm. Because when we are on the other side of this, they will just be, it'll be seamless. They'll just go forward and they'll have those new, a lot of new listings coming up and buyers will, or pin up, you know, buyers need to buy and sellers need to sell. Mm -hmm. So Hopefully they're actually doing the work. I'm doing uh, helping them um, use our NetSheet program when they're taking listings. And that is the other thing. Um, my top agents are taking three and four listings a week. Yeah. And um, they're just doing everything safely. Mm -hmm. um, and then my buyer's agents are showing either virtually or they're you know, masking and booting and gloving up and cleaning and stuff. So business is happening. Um, not so much on the higher end homes because of the stock market unrest and the, and the people with money, yeah. you know, are uncomfortable and jumbo loans are few, few. but, um, mm -hmm. I'm kind of surprised. Yeah. And so it's encouraging to me, even though we're not having a true spring market right now, that the spring market is a normal spring market should be on the other side of this, or even maybe even a flurry as long as the, um, loans are there as long okay. as there's money for everybody so has, has this uh COVID-19 issue affected your closings in any way as far as a slowdown or are y'all still closing in around 30 days how is that going yeah yeah we're still closing in time in that time frame um okay. unless there is a you know lender delay and my question for you Matt is what about inspections are you know that's yeah. a that's a different animal do are these they should be but are these buyers doing their inspections and yeah and how's that uh, working? we we pivoted really fast and made sure that we put our protocols in place with all of our inspectors made sure that they could uh, get the uh, supplies that they needed you know to be safe and to go right. in uh, 
we've tried to steer people as far as doing in a virtual inspection where the inspector could go into the house, be alone, n nobody being in there, you know, let them do their work and then be able to uh, go through the report with the people, you know, outside of the home or on, you know, on FaceTime or Zoom or something else like that. There's a lot of people, what I'm hearing is they want to be in person there, you know, and the vacant homes are not so bad, right? On there right. as far as not worrying about uh, occupants in the home or dogs or, you know, animals and, and other things right. like that. And touching a lot of, you know, things in there. Uh, they are wiping down when they get in and they're wiping down before they leave. So they're making sure the house right. will probably be cleaner than what it was when they go in there. On that. Right. So we're just doing our best we can with that. And we put some other um, services in place. We're calling it a safe showing service. And actually, uh, people can use the service to have an inspector bring in a ozone machine and do a house decontamination and then a total wipe down after the machine is done. So what a great service. That's yeah. awesome. That's yeah. Really awesome. And so some people are picking that up, you know. Cause you have those people out there that just, you know, they, they don't want viruses. They don't want contamination and none of us do right on there. But if we're just taking better precautions to be cleaner, you know, and, and dis, uh, and decontamination services in there. then you know, I, I think that's going to continue on, right? Cause I think we're all going to be more conscious of, of what's going on around us and keeping things cleaner and sanitized. And I think those type of services are going to be um, more fluid, you know, as we go on through the year. I have a friend that's in the uh, air conditioning business and he does air duct cleaning and it's just amazing. And he has a fogger machine and he can go in and fog a home and clean and disinfect. But just cleaning those air ducts is unbelievable the stuff that he pulls out of there you know and it's not just <laughs> dust and dirt i mean it's it's yeah. you know toys and <laughs> towels and rags and paper and you name it you know it, it gets sucked up in there sometimes too so well i might just hire your company to come do that cleaning for me <laughs> yeah as a awesome. matter of fact if if you have any clients <laughs> if you know of any clients any realtors out there cindy that have these homes that even if they're vacant, but there was smokers who lived in there. I'm telling you this ozone machine, it will clean in a couple hours, it'll clean a 3,500 square foot house and make it smell 10 times better. And that's too. awesome. So dogs, awesome. cats, you know, odors, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it'll really help out in there too, so. Well, I think we're going to see a lot of protocol changes. And one of the things that I'm seeing and hearing on both sides is one, the agents are a little anxious that they can't come to the closing table because that's the time they love on their people. Yes. But then I'm hearing other agents say, this is awesome. I don't have to go to the closing table <laughs> because that's another two hours, you know, yeah. a day. You know? Well, so it'll be interesting to see how that pans out, you know, what they do. It could be that we'll just have these little stand up kiosk with video monitors <laughs> on it. Or, or video yeah. monitors sitting on a desk and that's the way that we communicate. We'll still right. be there. We're just not in person, you know, yeah. physically. Yeah. 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 I think, we, you know, and I think also um, I had a, an agent tell me it's about time we kind of got into the 21st century on these uh, remote electronic closings. Now, they don't work for everyone yet, yeah. but why not? Why aren't right. they working for everyone yet? So uh, I think we're going to see a lot of good changes come from this actually. yeah i do too yeah i do too so since you've been at home what's you and the hubby been eating as snacks what's the go-to snack at the house right now oh my gosh um we're really big into chips of course chips and cookies and i have been baking cookies that's have a terrible you? thing that's terrible don't bake cookies when there's just two of you but um been yeah. doing that but we've also been cooking some good meals too so that's oh, good 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 well, anything surprising that you hadn't had in a long time? They're like, I don't know why we haven't been cooking this all all the time. No, not, I yeah. wouldn't say that too yeah. much, but yeah. <laughs> we do watch, um, we watch Ree Drummond, the Pioneer, um, Pioneer Woman yes. cooking. 
and yeah. she is not a low calorie person. So we've done a right. couple of her recipes and no, anyway, that's comfort it's, food, it's, sister. That's good it, food right there, right? Food. Yeah. Have you had food. any yeah. barbecue lately? Uh, we did do our own ribs. Now we don't have a smoker, but we have figured out a delicious way to make ribs on the grill. Okay. So we've had that well, and that was ahead. delicious. So yeah, well, great. but not any, I need to do some takeout barbecue. How about you? Yeah, we've had a little bit. Uh, I have a couple of friends that are, are barbecue guys and that do smoking and cooking and stuff and catering. And so uh, Ooh, I've been, nice. getting some, been getting some stuff from them. Yeah, uh, yeah, I want to support them for sure. Yeah, I got to support them too. Yeah, I sure can. They've been very, very helpful with that. Matter of fact, one of them are making deliveries. They're working with another uh, company here in Denton to support some of the staff there and so right. the staff is also making deliveries for them and getting paid out of that too right. so they're right. donating back to them so yeah nice. I, nice. I got a really nice little present on sunday uh, some really good sausage and some uh, oh, nice. Stuff. yeah it was really good oh, nice. yeah oh, nice yeah it's well, a it brisket like queso <laughs> no, no that's oh my gosh my mouth just watered I know. well it sounds like you know, you're doing well. I would say that um, most everyone I know is doing well. We're we're lucky. We have we haven't had sick people. Uh, I've had a few friends furloughed, um, but their future looks good when we do get on the other side of it. So okay. I'm proud of everyone for um, at least in my community. But there's an awful lot of people hurting, and um, you know a lot of prayers out there for that and. Uh, but certainly, um, I appreciate everybody doing what they could to stay right. home. And, so. All right. So, Cindy, I'm going to be your genie today, and I'm going to give you one wish. You can only make one wish. What would that wish be today? <laughs> I'm going to be selfish and that the, the pounds that I've gained would just disappear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, magically disappear when this all lifts and it can magically disappear if i'll behave myself right. but that's a pretty selfish wish <laughs> well just start walking around the eight acres every day right <laughs> yep 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 too. so has there been any uh music that you started listening to more often now since you've been at home and by yourself more often and are you binging any tv shows i'm not a tv watcher Okay. Um, I'm a sports watcher, so I've been in grief. I've been grieving over that, but that's yes, okay. I'm sure. um, been doing a lot of painting. You know, I'm, I'm an I've artist and that. a lot of painting. Yes. And a music, the music. Um, I'm a big old rock and roll fan, um, but I'm going to the smoother stuff lately. I'm listening to a lot of Coldplay oh, and wow. a lot of Sting, a lot of Sting kind of ballady things. Yeah. You know, yeah. and uh, just and then my favorite Spotify right now also is called peaceful guitar oh, and so i have a peaceful guitar yes because we all kind of need to calm down how about you what is your music to take away yeah well actually uh i mean we always get up in the morning because my wife debbie's working at home too you know and so we usually play christian music first thing in the morning to get us going you That's know good. on that uh then when i get over to uh pandora i'm listening to 80s 70s 80s you know arena rock music you know and stuff like that <laughs> a matter of fact i'm going to put a uh happy hour together soon i'll invite you it'll be virtual happy hour and we're Thank gonna you. have uh old rock and roll video time for oh, about an hour yeah. oh, so we're gonna get to listen to music watch it and then discuss you know our uh concert times you know back in the day yep well one of the things i, I do want to um schedule some more um classes with you maybe okay. maybe a virtual class or two yes but uh, hopefully we'll be on the other side and we can do real live ones too because yeah. i think one of the things uh, that's coming from this is we're less shy about recording and being on video and so all those how we you teach those classes and nobody would do anything with it i think now <laughs> people are ready so yeah. 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 I was, I've been the lone voice out there for a long time. So you better start doing videos. You better start doing videos. Here and I guess some people have had to now. So anyway, right. yeah. I appreciate well, me time. Yeah. We appreciate you being on today. God bless you and your family, you and your husband and 
And I just pray a hedge of protection around you and your home and your health. And uh, thank you for being on today. And I want to say thanks to Super Inspector for sponsoring our time on Zoom today. Appreciate them always for giving us the time to do that. And have a great weekend. Thank you. Blessings to you as well. Thanks thank so much. You.